we're capable of. And we knew what this team that was going to be really good coming out. I mean, they, they played a national championship last year, so we knew they were going to bring it. Um, and then, you know, coming off of the setbacks we had, like, I think we were all just really hungry to play. And I think that really showed how tough we are, you know, coming off of all that. And so um, I'm just really proud of us and I am frustrated that we came up short, but um, we just got to keep pu pushing and keep working hard. Scott, really impressive performance being off for that long. And you mentioned one of your top players was out, which makes it that much tougher to do what you did. But can you update her situation or injury or any, any news on that? Taylor, Taylor Jones? Yes. No, she just, she just wasn't available. OK. No. Yeah. yeah, thanks. So I, I know, again, no moral victories and all that stuff. But where was the bar? What do you feel like the bar was tonight? in terms of what you wanted to see out there and, and does this kind of validate that you know it can only get better from here for you and that you hung in there with a top ten team and mm -hmm. you know the sky is pretty pretty blue if you can just keep improving. I totally agree with that. You know, I I mean you want to win. Uh, but going into it, the way that they play, I mean really I mean, it's similar to what Arizona State's been, you know, all these years, where you almost have to have a different game plan uh, just to protect the basketball um, from their pressure. Not many teams play like they play. And, you know, because of that, we have a game plan all these years against, you know, ASU and different teams at the way that they pressure, and we have ways to protect it. The first time you face that type of, of, of a team, though, you never really know how that's going to go. And so I was, I was pleased with our ball control tonight overall, um, you know, there were stretches where obviously it was a, it was it wasn't wasn't perfect, um, you know, and we we showed signs where we were out of sorts. Our spacing was poor different times, you know. But that's a bunch of new people in under the spotlight for the first time, and and so because of that, you know, my bar was I just hope we compete like crazy. That's what I hope. And usually when you do good things happen, you know, and that might give us a chance tonight. I didn't know, and and so I was pleased with the way we competed. And then as the game went on, it was like, we can win this game, you know? And then you're disappointed that you don't, and you didn't find a way to do it, you know? So down the stretch, you know, as a coach, you just, I wish I could have found a way to help us, you know, to manufacture a bucket or two, obviously, to, to pull this thing out. Even to the, you know, point five. I thought we had a play that, act, that actually might work, but they make a great play on a tip. And, uh, you know, so uh, they gave themselves a chance to win. And against a, a really good team like this, I would say that that's, that's what I hoped for going in. For Taya and Ellie, obviously the past is the past, but did it feel a little bit like deja vu with all the postponements and then to come off a really long pause playing Arizona again and having a really close game? Uh, yeah, no, it, it definitely did feel like deja vu in some ways. Thankfully, we weren't off for as long this time um, and more people were able to practice, so that was um, definitely good for us. But I think there definitely was um, a little bit of uh, you know apprehension just going into all the COVID uh, pauses, but I think we've handled it really, really well. And you know, looking forward to playing Colorado on, on Tuesday or Monday or Tuesday. Monday. 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 Ellie, how much do you think this helps the team to play a gritty team like that that was in a title game less than a year ago? Yeah. I mean, I think this team is just still learning how to compete. Um, we have a lot of young kids and a lot of new faces, and so um, you know, we're still kind of coming together. Um, and so that was, today was a huge, huge day for that. Um, we had so much energy. I was really proud of our team um, and, and how well we worked together. You were uh, foul challenged, obviously, up front with Yelena and, and, and Kennedy. What was the thought process going down the stretch with, with uh, going, just going with Yelena the rest of the way? I thought she was playing great. I thought she was impacting. Um, you know, they didn't go inside as much against her. She's obviously bigger than Kennedy. and. Um, you didn't know how the game was going to go, um, and so it was just a feel. You know, Yellen has played great for us. She's a great defender and obviously passed the ball very well. Um, she made a couple big-time passes tonight. Uh, you know, and, and so she's a, a playmaker, and I thought that was the right call. And there, that's all there was to it. It just felt right. Then how much, and I think you had a foul to give in the last position. Was there any thought of, of taking a foul there in the last position? Yeah. No. Um, you know, I no. I don't. I don't know. Not yet. That that's growing pain stuff. I mean, it's just there's just I had two freshmen up there at the top of our zone. Um, you know, and I had we we had a game plan for it. We got screened 
um, the wrong person got screened <laughs> um, somehow. Uh, you know, it was a weird play because we couldn't, we couldn't get under that. And so basically, um, Pellington goes by us. We're switching that screen, and the person that was switching got rolled into, and Talia couldn't get to her, you know, and, and which gave her the gap and the space to shoot it. And so, um, you know, I think it was the exact same play that, that she scored a layup, you know, I think against Louisville or somebody earlier in the year. And so we kind of knew what was coming, but if we execute that, it takes that away. And so I felt good about it, um, you know, I, I thought we would defend it, you know. And so it was unfortunate, it was a great shot. Ellie, you mentioned, Tay, you can maybe comment too, but, you know, so many young players, what did you either learn about your team or have reinforced about your team with the way everybody stepped up today, you know, with Taylor out and just the way you guys changed the rotation around? What did you either learn about your team that you didn't know or what was kind of validated with you guys, what you guys already knew? Um, I think I already knew this, but kind of was reinforced just how good we can be. Um, our bench is deep. We have really, really talented guards, really talented posts. And so um, I think that we can be really successful this year. Um, we can beat really good teams, and um, I mean, we just competed with a, a really good team, and so um, I'm just looking forward to continuing to do, do that. Yeah, I think Ellie nailed it. I think it just shows that we can play with really good teams and, you know, eventually beat really good teams, and so um, I think, like we all said, we're really proud of how we competed tonight, um, but, you know, we're going to come out stronger next time. All right, thank you. Oh, go Beavs.